Hey guys, and welcome back to another vlog. I am Alexia Nicole, and I'm living my life by design. And y'all can probably hear this air just blowing in the background. Anywho, I am headed to go get a facial. Um, yes, I have on makeup because I left church, went and took the parents out for brunch, and I'm running late, so I don't have time to go home and wash my face and put on a different shirt because this this was not in the plans but anyways i wanted to take y'all along with me because this is gonna be I'm, i guess i'm gonna start start a new like um skincare series or something on my channel um one you know i like to vlog things just so i can see you know my progress in life and this is something that i want to see progress in um, if y'all been watching my channel for a while, you know, I'm really, you know, I've really gotten into skincare over the last, you know, year or two. I'm always in Sephora buying stuff, trying new things. Um, and my skin has really cleared up for the most part, but I still get like, um, acne breaks, breakouts, you know, like when I'm on my menstrual or, you know, just some random ones. And I think that kind of has a lot to do with my diet, um, which my diet isn't horrible. Um, but I think it's time for me to cut out dairy and so I'm gonna go ahead to the butter bar um, I think that's just the title the butter bar skin butter bar something and We're gonna get a peel today, which is supposed to help with um, My dark spots and all of that. So of course, I wanted to bring y'all along. So let's go in, guys. The butter bar skin care. It's cute in here. Got melanin Yes, I do. All right, guys, I'm in the room. It's nice and peaceful. They have a little music playing. So I'm about to lay down in the bed. They gave me this little thing to put on, so that's good. All right. So what products are you currently using on your skin? Oh, I use a little bit of everything. Um, but as far as, like, Cleanser, toner, essence, SPF, moisturizer. I might use a lot of Peter Thomas Raw mm -hmm. products. Um, mostly him and Fresh. Gotcha. I hear good news yeah. about the Fresh line too. Yeah. How do you like the Peter Thomas Raw? I love everything that I use from him. I've been wanting to try it. It just, I'm very, really big on like clean ingredients and mm -hmm. I saw that he had like some red dyes in there and I was oh. like oh man but I hear good things sometimes so yeah. I was like let me just try it for myself and see that it was the the gold line hmm. you know what I'm talking about they have like the 24 karat gold oh yeah yeah, yeah 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 that one I really want to try it yeah I have some of the the under eye mask and then I have just the 24 karat gold mask and I love it they sell their mask in like a set of six. Oh, okay so it's like six different ones like a, um, a mud mask and then they have like a pumpkin enzyme one which is my favorite yes. they have a rose stem one um, a cucumber hydrating one the 24 karat gold one is in there and then two other ones that I'm forgetting that aren't my favorites but I use them like weekly oh, yes perfect so how long have you been an esthetician? I have been an esthetician for almost four years now. Okay. Yes, I love it. And it's so funny to even say like four years because I feel like it, you know, I remember being like, oh, a year now, a two mm -hmm. years now. And then all of a sudden like, jump yeah, to four. Exactly. I'm like, oh, I still love it. So I'm like, perfect. <laughs> Are you from Houston? I am yeah, born and raised. Nice. I live like 10 minutes down the road. So when I was looking, I found me on my Instagram for mm -hmm. like places to go to and I'm a flight attendant so I can fly anywhere so I was just looking like anybody right and I was like oh we're right there and I was like oh my god they're down the street yes perfect <laughs> I was like oh don't need to fly anywhere right oh, that's good yeah that's awesome yeah you know I'm always looking for like black businesses and you know, So right now I'm still just doing the double cleanse with the makeup just to make sure we get everything off before we go into that nice deep cleanse. Okay. How long have you been doing your YouTube channel? Um, about two years. Oh, nice. 
small and growing. So. Is it like a lifestyle kind of vlog? Yeah, it's like mostly something? like flight attendant life, but I mean, also a little estate agent, so I throw a little bit of that in there. Yeah. And then, you know, it's just kind of turned into like lifestyle. I love it. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah the camera, you have to definitely get used to it. Just being in your face mm -hmm. all the time. And my biggest thing was like just getting used to like sharing and then once you start sharing and you, you, mm -hmm. know, you gain subscribers or followers and you know, have real interest in it, wanting to know more and then right. trying to find like a healthy balance to all of it. Right, right. Uh, it's interesting, but I do it because I enjoy it. So. Good. That's all that matters. That's yeah. why you should do it. So, so are y'all opening up a, a store in Atlanta too? or I think that? so. Oh, well, that's awesome. I, I hope so. So I know they're definitely doing um, esthetician services. So I'm not 100% sure if they're going to do like a storefront just for people mm -hmm. to come and buy the product. Yeah. But I know that they want to start offering more services. And of course, like... Um, the estheticians will have products that can be purchased, but as yeah. far as a storefront, I'm not 100% sure yet. Okay. But I know they're ready to yeah. expand. Oh, that's a, that's a good place to go. Oh, yeah. Using the black tea tree and peppermint wine it has the black soap in there for that nice deep cleanse. And then the tea tree is antibacterial, so it'll help with any breakouts, decongest the skin a bit. And that peppermint will open up those pores, stimulate the skin. I was considering going to a dermatologist first, and then I was like, oh, I was talking to one of my friends, they're like, oh, your skin's not bad, just go to an esthetician. Right, yeah. So, like, what's the main difference other than them being, like, you know, medical licensed professionals? So, the way I describe, like, dermatologists, because I have a love-hate relationship with dermatologists, <laughs> <laughs> I do, because they always prescribe the wrong product. They're like, oh, yeah, just here, use this Cetaphil. I'm like, stop telling people to use Cetaphil. <laughs> but, um... I would go to a dermatologist or recommend a dermatologist if you have like a fungal infection on the face, like a bacterial problem, mm -hmm. like something where your esthetician just can't fix it. Like if it's just like that deep cystic acne, mm -hmm. you know, if you wanted to go into like lasering, things like that, like much more deep underneath the skin. Okay. Um, your esthetician, like I would send you to a med spa before I would send you to the dermatologist, mm -hmm. depending on... Um, the case now if you had like again something that was like needed like a doctor you know like prescription think more prescription like you can't prescribe you a medicine that's yeah. when I would send you to a dermatologist but okay. if you're just trying to correct something there's plenty of options before you need to go to the dermatologist oh. because when you get to the dermatologist they're not going to sit there and try and figure out what your products you're using, what ingredients are in there, and what you need, they're just gonna prescribe you something because that's where their money is. They're not gonna give you, you know, mm -hmm. a deep cleansing facial. They're gonna give you a treatment. So it's like, come here first, we'll see if we can fix it, help you, and then it will advise you where you need to go from there. Oh. A lot of times people go to their dermatologist first and then they get put on a prescription cream that ends up messing up their skin. It gets rid of what they wanted, but now they have this whole new problem mm -hmm. and the dermatologist can't fix it. And then I end up finding out, you know, they're still using Neutrogena with this cream that has like, you know, a retin-A in it or mm -hmm. something that's like totally drying and makes them peel. Mm -hmm. And, you know, then their dermatologist will tell them like, oh, well, here, just use Acidophil. And now all their product is just sitting on their face and their, their pores are clogged. So it yeah. kind of defeats the purpose. So if you're not on a good regimen and you go to the dermatologist, you're not really going to see the results you're looking for. Mm -hmm. And if you do get rid of, usually it's breakouts people are trying to get rid of. Now they have this whole drying problem. They feel dry and scaly and their skin is flaky. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. I think I made the right decision then. Yes. Oh, yes. Definitely not trying to be on, like, any prescribed so Yes. No. <laughs> right. Right. I'm like, no, 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 no. Can we feel We'll fix everything. I always tell people that. Just get a good regimen, do some pills, yeah. do some drink things. Totally fine. So okay. Now I'm coming in with the enzyme peel. Okay. So do these, like the chemical pills, make you peel like for days and... Oh, this one won't. Okay. This is just very... This one you won't peel at all. You'll just have a nice glow. It's going to eat up some dead skin. 
That way you just leave here nice and glowing. It's gonna help decongest, like I said. And then um, that way when you go home and you continue your regular regimen, your products will just sink deeper into the skin okay. instead of just sitting on top of the face. So what are chemical peels good for? Do y'all do those here or no? Um, we just do the green, the green, the green peel. Okay. Yes. And that one would make you peel like the chemical peels? Mm -hmm. So it depends on which ones you get. So we have the fresher up and that one you won't really peel from. And then the um, energy, some people peel from that one and then some people don't. And then the classic is the one where people usually always peel. Okay. Mm -hmm. I love chemical peels. They're my absolute favorite. <laughs> On a scale of 1 to 10, 10 being absolutely burning, how would you say your skin feels? Uh, like a 2. Oh, perfect. with the facial and my skin feel amazing I don't know if y'all can tell I got this new iPhone and I feel like it, it like buffers the skin and makes it look super soft so I don't know if y'all are really getting like a good view of what it looks like but it feels just good and Dana was so knowledgeable everything that I asked her she had answers to um, and she recommended that the next time I come back in like four weeks that I do, I think it's called the derma planning. I'll make sure that's what it's called. But it's basically like where they take, um, I guess like a medical grade razor or something where, and they just kind of like shave off all of like the dead skin cells that's the top layer on your face and the peach fuzz and it really just helps brighten up the skin and get those dense dead skin cells to go away because i just feel like probably no matter how much you exfoliate and scrub on a regular you're still not getting everything so i'm definitely gonna do that the next time i go back but um i definitely enjoyed it these two little dark spots one two three are my newest ones and that's just from popping pimples <laughs> like I don't know why um but y'all can see like this is like the area that I'm really trying to clear up and it really isn't that bad because you know I can still comfortably go days without wearing makeup and not care you know I don't feel like you know it's ugly or anything but you know I just have some dark spots from old pimples that used to be way worse you know they used to be dark like these you know these used to be like this shade of dark and these down here used to be this shade of dark and they're not anymore so the products that i'm using are good but they're just not getting you know any better like this is like it's the the most improvement that i've seen so yeah um if you're in the houston texas area on the northwest side which is really amazing because most places you find in Houston are like all on the south side um, and this one was right 15 minutes down the street from my house so that is awesome but if you're ever in the area and you're looking to get a facial or you just want to relax or you have a layover it's not too far from like IAH maybe like a 30 minute drive or so um, so yeah go check so it yeah. out and I will definitely keep y'all updated on the journey. Now, the goal for me is to try to cut out dairy out of my diet. <sighs> I know I've probably said this in a vlog before and I just keep failing at it. So if you are a person that doesn't eat dairy, 
you know, give me some tips. I mean, it's really not no tips that I need. It's just like, Alexis, stop eating it. But um, I feel like what happens is either one, I forget that I'm supposed to be dairy free and I order something with cheese and I eat it and like, well, um, or I eat something and I don't even realize there's dairy in it. Like, you know, so if y'all have tips for that, uh, <laughs> please go ahead and comment down below. Let me know what I can do to, to move forward in this dairy free lifestyle that I'm trying to do. Um, anyways, that's it for this skincare vlog. I hope you all enjoyed it. Until next time, make sure you're subscribed, make sure you like this video, and share it with all your friends. Bye!